Hello everyone, Apache here and welcome to what is going to be a relatively short video showcasing a new demo game available on itch.io called The Pedestrian. This is a 2D side-scroller game with puzzle type elements in it as well. Uh, the reason why I've uh, chosen to showcase this is because it's set within a, a beautiful 3D environment but you play kind of on the wall, you know, on signs in the wall. You'll see what I mean as we go through. It is an amazing concept that I haven't really seen before in these kind of 2D side-scrolling type games. So we're just going to get straight into it. The controls are as you would imagine, uh, A and D to move left and right, space to jump, a, uh, sorry, W and S to move up and down. Uh, so up and down through ladders and all sorts within the game. You can see here we have a TV screen up here that tells us hints throughout the game. So we can see if we press F then we can enter puzzle mode which allows us to move these tiles around first of all. We can move all of these around. And we can also connect the doors together. So you can see here this door is now open and connected to that one. And the same for this. So now if we exit out of puzzle mode, we can go through here into this room and here into this room. This is as far as I've played through at the moment, just to get an idea of the controls and everything. So from now on, I'm playing it as new with you guys. So as you can see, this is one thing I love. You have to keep moving through these and you can move, press A and D to move backwards and forwards through the scenery. Okay, so we're going into a lift, and here's our tile here, and we just use the lift. So we have our own little 2D lift. That's pretty cool. Let's come back out of the door. Okay, so now, I'm assuming enter puzzle mode. Okay, so we've got a TV here telling us these things we can jump down through. Okay. So I'm I'm imagining here that we can't jump up through here. Because you can see if we come back out, our jump isn't that high. And this is a double high room. So if we come up to the top first and we can drop down through this and we can connect up to this room here. So step on here. It's not automatic, you need to press S to jump down through it. That's nice to know so that we can actually walk across these as well. And out and into this one. So it's always a good idea to pull into puzzle mode by pressing F just to get an idea of, of the, the level. So if we pull this one to here we can go through this door and down this ladder. So this is introducing us to ladders. Press S to go drop down through the ladder and out. You can see we have a TV here. I didn't even notice the TV to be honest. But it's one of those kind of intuitive games. You kind of automatically know what to do. Um, okay, so here we need to go through where we need to go out here. So if we want to go out of here, we need to Hmm. I think we need to swap these two over so that we come up through there, up through there, and I need to move this one to there. I think that's how you do it. Go down this ladder, through this door, and then up this ladder. Yes, it does. Let's come through here, down, and up. Okay. Nothing to do here, but you can see this this kind of 3D rendered background of a game, which kind of moves the camera tilts as as you move around. It's such a an elegant idea for a game. It's beautiful. I like that some of them aren't just some of them aren't puzzles. They are just kind of make your way through this room. Uh, we're going to showcase some of the scenery behind you. Okay, so this is introducing something new to us. This is a key. I would imagine that then this is a locked door, so we can't go through here. So we need to pick up this key with E, E to interact with objects. Okay, yeah, that's automatic, you can just walk through the door. 
Continue walking to the left and we're into the new, pla new place. Okay, so this one. Um, we came in through this way. There's no little toggle for us to grab. So we need to go down first. The, we need to go into this room first because this has got a key to open up this door. So if we... Probably easiest to drag these ones over actually. Because then we come down through here. Pick up the key, up through here, into this room, unlock the door, and out of there. Okay, let's see if we got that right. Through there, unlock the door, up, and out. And now we're on to this one. Okay, let's get an idea of what we're doing. So we need to get the key first and unlock the door. So everything is in this one room. So, can we attach this to here? No. So we need to go through these rooms. Well, this is like the, uh, the first, one of the first puzzles we did before. So if we connect these two, connect that one to there and that one to there, that will mean we go up into here, down the ladder, and up to there, grab the key, down here and out. Yeah. Down the ladder. Up, grab this, down here and out. Okay, nothing to do in this room. Head straight through. <laughs> so I can't just help but laugh at the uh, the background, it's, it, it just amazes me that they made just a, a 2D scrolling game in, in this environment. I want to know what's going on in the world. Why are we in a factory? Why are there so many boxes? Where are we? Why is there a, a stick figure animation on, on, on the background here? Did people leave in a hurry because all these chairs are down? I don't know. Okay, so there's spinning blades here but they don't seem to affect us too much. So we're just going to go through. See, what do these factory, what does this make? Butts. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Uh, right. So we have actually spinning blades in this one. So this key will open up this door and we come out through here. So I want to drag this one over to here first. And we must come up through here. So we can attach that on. I think that's probably the best way to do this is just go through procedurally which room do we need to go through next. So coming out this way we would need to go in to this room next. So that we can grab a key, which opens this door. So we come out of there, and we're going to have to be careful of the spinning blade. Okay. I'm tempted to find out what happens if you actually touch the spinning blades. I suppose, as this is a showcase video, I suppose I should as well. So the idea is, you jump over it and then jump down and through. Right, <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that then. Quite like that anyway. So this is the, the, the death screen and we get to retry. Does it reset the whole progress for the level? No, it doesn't. Okay, so everything is still linked. Okay, so it just sends you back and you can just continue playing. As the game is further developed, that may change, we never know. Yeah, this is this is quite fun so far. It's it's a nice uh, it's a nice difference to to how normal kind of two D scrollers are, are done. So jump up and over and don't jump there. And down and out. This one looks like a much bigger one. Okay, so. 
we have these things, which I assume are lifts or elevators. Um, so let's get this in some kind of order. And this is a lever which is attached to this piston. And we can't, this isn't part of the puzzle. So that's where you obviously go out of. So we want this one about there. Uh, okay, so if we come into this room first, then we can go up this lift into this room. And then we will need to pull this lever so that this piston retracts. And we can get down, aha, and into here. Okay. So yes, this is a lift. Pressing up takes you to the next floor. Pressing down takes you to the next floor. And here, same again, just takes you up one floor at a time. Okay, so pull the lever and that does retract. Aha, uh -huh. and the piston goes back and forth. But we can just come back out of the room now. And this is the place we saw before. Head down and out. Okay, so we obviously need to get the key first. That's probably the best thing to do in every situation is grab a key as soon as you can. Uh, there was a level before that had two keys, so and this can be wherever it needs to be. It's still connected to there. So this lever connects to this, which will actually lift us up so we can jump out of here, I would imagine. So if we connect that one and that one, that's our way out. So we need to come out of this room and into this room uh, and then this would connect to there and this one would connect to there so what's our route we go through to get the key back out into here down pull the lever jump up unlock the door with the key through here jump up here and across and out Okay, so let's try that. Get the key through to here, down here, pull the lever, unlock the door. I would imagine that will crush you if you go underneath it. I'm not going to test it. And we can come up and out. Okay, so you can't there's no puzzle mode here um you see having played side scrolling games as a kid when this happens there's always one of these pits that's the wrong one to go down and i'm going to assume that this is the wrong pit the left hand side is the wrong one so we're going to want to quickly jump into here is what i'm thinking this will probably kill me down at the bottom so i'm going to jump out oh i didn't mean to jump down but okay so there's a spring there so i, I was right but not about the killing at the bottom we would have landed on a spring this is getting annoying jump up and across so on these springs, can you jump higher? Could I have got out of there? No, doesn't look like you can. So yeah, we made the right decision there. So to the right, see it catches you out a bit as well, this game. Okay, and actually that looks like the end of the demo. So thank you very much for joining me today for this uh, demonstration of the pedestrian game. It does as I said at the beginning of the video, it is available for free on itch.io. Although it is available for free, if you do download it, please do give it a, a 
a generous uh, donation to the developers of the game. Uh, this is a game I would love to see put into full development, have loads of different levels, take you out into the into the world. The, uh, the trailer for the game showed you going across street signs and all sorts. I was hoping that this demo would take you outside and it, it took you across main roads and, and all sorts. So the game has a huge amount of potential. Uh, you can see the details on the screen to uh, contact the developers and see more of their work. So thank you very much for joining me today. I have been Apache and I will see you next time.